Hi everyone, Tyler here, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to remap Xbox controller buttons. If this video helps you, please consider subscribing. All right, now let's teach you how to create a custom profile for your controller so that you can go ahead and remap any buttons you would like on this controller. This allows you to really customize your controller and get the most out of it and make sure it fits perfect for your gaming style. First, let's go ahead and hit the Xbox button. And then we'll go over to profile. We'll scroll down to settings and select the settings option. From here on the left, we'll go down to devices and connections and select that. Next, we'll go over to controllers and headsets and select that. Here is our controller right here. We'll go ahead and click on configure. And from here, we can go ahead and set up a new profile. Over there on the left, you do have your default profile, which you can always revert to if you need. However, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new profile, which means a new set of custom button mapping. I'll go ahead and click new profile. I'll name this profile test, and then we'll go ahead and start making some adjustments. Now, by default, you can see on the left, we have a lot of preset options. We can swap the sticks, so the left stick controls the right stick and the right stick controls the left stick. We can also invert the stick, so when you push up, it really inputs down. We can also swap the trigger, so if you want your left trigger to be your fire trigger instead of your right trigger, you can go ahead and just check that right here. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and switch some of these buttons around. First, we'll go ahead and switch the A button. We wanna map it to the left bumper. Now, why would you wanna do that? When you think about gaming, why would you actually wanna switch any of these buttons around? Well, maybe it would make more sense instead of having to pull your thumb off of this stick and go to your A button to jump, you could actually just leave it on the stick so you can keep aiming and you can hit the left bumper to jump right here. That would allow your fingers to stay in place and not have to make too many adjustments while you're playing your game. This is essentially how you can go ahead and map those buttons just as we did right there. Now when we're done, we'll go ahead and press the B button to go back. And as you can see, we now have this profile on the left called test, which we can go ahead and select and have that remapped button. Hopefully this video on how to remap Xbox One controller buttons helped. And if it did, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.